Yeah, I just want to talk a moment about starting out and modeling for the, the, the new guys out there and gals that decide that they want to start modeling. It's really therapeutic on a lot of different levels. And um, when, you, when you first start out, you know, you don't have the skills and sometimes the means to, to buy, you know, supplies and, and paints. And, and there's so many facets to the, to the hobby, which in all due respect makes it fascinating. That's what makes the hobby so fascinating is all the different aspects of modeling combined together to give, give you a piece of, of art that, it, you know, when somebody sees it, it makes them say, oh, my God, look, you know, look at, look at this. You know, look what this person just built, you know. Uh, I get a lot of questions from guys saying that, you know, they want to be able to build like this person or they want to, to, to be able to build like that person. And they, they find it very uh, discouraging that, you know, their skills are not up to par in certain areas. And I just want to give a heartfelt um, condolences to you builders, you new builders, younger builders, and, and new builders, that I want to submit to you that wherever you are in your skill level, it's a blessing because every model is a lesson to be learned. So every build, you gather knowledge as you go. And in time, through building and building and building, your repertoire will grow, your skills will grow, your inspiration will grow. Uh, everything will come to you in time, okay? And this is not like an overnight thing by any means. Um, you know, painting, just by itself, it, it, it takes many, many years uh, and a lot of trial and error you know, to get anywhere near being, you know, a great painter. Um, you know, as far as scratch building goes, it's all about scratch building, you know, your first set of headers, you know. We've all been there. All, 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 all of us have been there at one point. And what I'm suggesting is, you know, stay the course. If you really enjoy the hobby and you're going to be in it for the long run, stay the course and always walk away from the bench if you're not feeling it. A lot of uh, rule of thumb to me is if the model didn't speak to me that day and ask me, hey, I, hey, Chuck, can you, you know, build me a set of headers today? If the model didn't ask for it, a lot of times I don't mess with the model. I really only build the model that's talking to me that day and wants me to build it the way it wants to be built. Or if I have a... a complete vision that I'm just seeking out. Like with the um, super bad, I wanted a 454 big block mad monster engine, you know, up in, in that truck. And that was the vision and that's the way it came out. So I just say build from your heart. Don't get discouraged. Walk away from the bench. Take time out. And when you are at the bench, you know, only build what's in your heart and on your mind. So everything stays fresh. And look, look through the channels. We have so many amazing builders here. Look through the channels and get inspiration from these guys because it's here. And, and, and build on, brothers. And rock that styrene, man. The interior is um, blue corduroy that I cut up from a old pair of blue corduroy jeans. Also has blue corduroy inserts on the seats. The WWG for the Wicked Wizard Garage in gold on the headrest. 
The gear shift came out of the parts box. I'm not sure what it's off of, but it's gold. The interior seats came out of the 1970 Chevelle kit. They're painted um, a satin, a Krylon satin mango. The tub here is from a 1987 Revell 1954 Chevy chassis from here to here is 1987 original from here forward is scratch built tube chassis from the cockpit back is scratch built chassis so a little bit of old blended with new design. We have uh, we have gas tank, fuel lines, got brake lines with fittings, battery, drive shaft. Up front we got. Disc brakes with uh, brake lines, which are guitar strings running from both discs to the master cylinder. You can see that or not. The engine, the engine is uh, out of the 1957 Corvette Gasser, AMT Gasser. We got it. Uh, all the coolant lines are elixir hoses made from guitar strings. We got guitar ball ends for the, for the belt pulleys. Black electrical tape for the belt itself. Got red spark plug wires. Dual gold stacks. Dual carbs with the um, Burns C5 blower and um, gold block chrome oil pan gold transmission white headers this is a uh, inside of the kit looks like. Nineteen eighty seven Revell nineteen fifty four Chevy delivery purple haze.
So basically, you got the uh, opening rear hatch, open driver's side door, blue corduroy interior with uh, Krylon satin mango and gold trim. With the gold chain steering wheel, 1957 AMT Corvette Gasser 427 engine with a bunch of scratch built parts. Uh, got 1979 Camaro rims. Um, it's got three coats of uh, your purple lacquer and um, it's got at least seven coats of clear on it guys I mean it's it's wet and, uh, I named it purple haze after uh, it's a tribute to Jimi Hendrix so if Jimmy was alive I'm sure he'd drive this bad boy around So this is it. Got the blue when the blue glass that came out of the 3D glasses. It's all scratch built. You can see that painting is just uh, it's just dripping wet. Four twenty-seven. The bunch <laughs> blower on top. Purple haze.